Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I will be reviewing Nightmare by Chad Nicholas. Now, I was sent this copy for review by the author, so thank you, Chad, for that. Um, I told him I'd be honest, and here we go. So, right off the bat, if you are a fan of, let's say, Pet Cemetery or books like that, the family drama, the family intrigue, the tension throughout, um, the eerie tones where you're not really sure is is up up or is down down uh, you're, you're kind of left on your heels on this one and uh, I absolutely love that the pacing of this was fantastic um, this is his debut novel uh, if I'm being completely honest I could tell a little bit in the writing but that's just because I, pay, I tend to really slow down and, and, and pay attention a lot to that. Now, that being said, it is not poorly written at all. Um, but I, it, it does leave me excited to see what further work Chad does. So, Nightmare, what is it about? Well, you follow, God, I'm drawing a blank, uh, Scott. Yeah, he is a family man. He has children. Uh, and if you're a parent or if you are an uncle who's close to some children or anything like that, um, you definitely, that's, it pulls at your, you just, that's the scariest part to me, personally. Uh, it hit really hard, because I'm, you know, I'm a family guy myself, family guy. Uh, yeah, I'm a family man myself, so definitely that tension is, is, is there the entire time. So, what happens in the beginning is you, uh, you're following Scott throughout the story, there's a lot of ups and downs, and basically you start noticing a trend of these things popping up kind of everywhere. Uh, right in the opening scenes, you do notice that uh, the daughter has bars on her window, and um, the wife and the husband are kind of conversing about different things, and he's having these nightmares. Scott's having nightmares, and, and there's just nightmares everywhere. And long story short, uh, you're kind of picking up on that there's some troubled parts of his past, and maybe there's some things being uh, that are in the background. So that's really the coolest part of this story is how he, uh, the author, Chad, slowly unravels this story in front of you. Um, it kind of gave me vibes of like Dark Matter and Pet Cemetery, and like those psychological, um, dramatic, tense uh, horror novels. So honestly, I read this now, uh, which is March of 2021. Um, it is currently on sale. I saw Chad post this on his Instagram today. I highly recommend this. Um, if not to read it for the summertime, uh, this is perfect for October and the fall season and autumn. So uh, I highly suggest actually going out and pick this one up. It, I gave it up three and a half, five, four, three and a half to four stars. I, I thought it was fantastic. I am definitely going to uh, be reading anything else that Chad comes up with. Uh, so, buddy, thank you so much for sending it out. Um, Chad has a YouTube channel. I will uh, link that down below. I will also link a link to this book so that you can go get a copy for yourself. I think the picture he posted on Instagram was of a hardcover copy. And if so, um, if it's as gorgeous as this, I mean, it's got these little illustrations on the pages so um yeah it's a fantastically um formatted book in my opinion i also love just i like i like the writing in here like the size of it so i'm gonna read the oh it is independently published as well he signed it for me so thank you chad i appreciate you um and yeah buddy you, you knocked it out so uh, yeah, so let's read the synopsis on the back. So if you're uh, going to click away, thank you so much for stopping by. Here we go. Had it come back? No, it couldn't have. He had buried it for good, or at least that's what Scott told himself. But what if he had? What if it had? Was that why the Scarecrow now watched him? But the more Scott tries to ignore it, the more the evidence begins to pile up. So do the bodies. Because sometimes the dead don't stay buried, sometimes the monster survives. As the bodies mount and the secrets of his past grow more haunting, Scott must do whatever it takes to save his family. But what if, they, what if by doing so, they find out what happened all those years ago? What if they realize what he did? Scott learns that there is no escape from his own past or the crows that have crawled out of it. 
he can only watch as his life is turned into a living nightmare. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. They kind of hint at some things, so I'm just going to touch on something else real quick. Um, so you do kind of start to see he gets into this uh, car accident. Now, as he's driving on the road, he does notice a, uh, he sees, he thinks, he, he starts to make these visual, he starts seeing things. Um, and, and it's, I don't know if it's that you're following his mind as he's, you, you kind of, Chad leaves it up to you. I don't want to spoil anything, but you start to kind of wonder, what is happening? Is, is this guy losing his mind? Uh, what, is he just... PTSD, like what is happening? So definitely go pick this book up for yourself. I love psychological horror. I love psychological thrillers. And this one is definitely going to be on the shelf for a long time to go. So thank you guys. Bye.